What's up everybody? If you want to know and learn how to fold your pocket square, then stay tuned and don't forget to visit stylesystems.net. So I literally decided to remake my video of how to fold your pocket square. I did it a long time ago and I want to make it again. I want to show you the ways that I love to fold my pocket square because there's literally tons and tons and tons of different ways that you can do it and there's gotta be probably around thousands if not millions of videos showing you how to do it so I will show you my way but before I show you the actual techniques first let's go back to history why do men use pocket squares? Now I'm not gonna get too deep into the actual story because if you really want to learn everything that it comes to the why behind your image, your fashion, your outfits and all this, then I suggest that you go to stylesystems.net or that you visit my masterclass, my online coaching program, fashionmetrics.vip. So with that being said, well, first it was because of a conveniency, all right? Men use it because we didn't have any napkins or clinics like we know them more. This was uh, primarily uh, a women's clothes. Women used this, used to use their, their handkerchiefs literally just because of hygiene. Then, you know, in the 20th century, uh, the Victorian, you know, era, you know, the, the men started using it as well for primarily because of hygiene, because we didn't have any disposable handkerchiefs. But in the Victorian era, the two-piece suit was invented, or three-piece suit actually, right? It was now, it was not just one big suit anymore, any, anymore, one big coat now, the suit that we are accustomed to, it started to become a trend or it got invented. So men started to use their handkerchiefs over here because it was a symbol of uh, hygiene. That, okay, I have, a I have uh, an available handkerchief over here that you can use or I can use on myself. After people use them, you know, they clean themselves or whatever, they would put them inside of their pocket, of the pocket of their pants. So then when you saw a man with no pocket square over here, with no handkerchief over here, it was a symbol that he already used, the one that he got. Now everyone back in the day, everyone had one, both men and women, because again, just pure hygiene. So later on, then it became slowly, slowly a symbol of status, of status, of like an authority, of someone who had the money to have uh, an extra pocket square or an extra handkerchief. So it was a custom that you would wear one over here and then carry another one inside of your the, the pocket of your pants because that way you wouldn't you would not give it away because you would have to give it away. You would literally have to give it away. If somebody needed your pocket square or your handkerchief, the image that you would give out, that you would present when you didn't have your your handkerchief over here is that you were not very hygiene, you didn't have enough hygiene or that you already gave it away because uh, literally handkerchiefs were given away, you know, if a woman needed it or another person needed it, you would just give it away and of course you wouldn't expect that person to return it because it was already used. And also, you had to clean them all the time. So it was a form of status like, okay, I have the money to clean them because back, back in the day we didn't have uh, washing machines. You have to have very specific people, you know, even the soaps were a commodity. It was not something that everyone could have or everyone could have had access to. So you having a white, super white crisp handkerchief, it was a form of status that, hey, you know, I'm a very hygiene, hygiene person, I have status and I look sharp. So you would keep one over here and then carry another one over here. So if you could, if you needed to use one or someone needed to use it, instead of using this one and then putting it inside of your pocket, you would take out the one that's out of your, your pants and then give it away and you would still remain with this one. Now, later on, as uh, the disposable handkerchiefs got invented, now it became primordially just an accessory, okay? It's just a form, an accessory and some of the symbolisms got stuck in the mind of people in society, which was the symbol of status, the symbol of sharpness, of uh, being clean, being sharp, having a good image overall, but the symbol of someone who knows how to dress. You know, this got into a trend about in the, in the 90s, started slowly to become a trend again, the men started to use it again. 
because in the 80s, people, you know, they were not really using them. But then, in the, in the 2000s, this is when it became an, an actual trend again in fashion, in men's fashion, okay, in the form of accessorizing your suits. Now, um, this has become now an authority form, you know, and also a form of um, dressing your suits without being too loud, you know. You don't have to put on a lot of different things. You can just put one pocket square over here, one handkerchief, and immediately you stand out. And when you don't have any, when you don't use it, it's almost like you're naked. Actually, it's almost like your suit is naked. When you put one, immediately you stand out. So notice the difference already. It's a, you know, a form of standing out. It's a conversational piece. Now we don't use it, now you don't give it away, and now even the material changed. Now we have silk, silk made handkerchiefs, we have pure cotton, we have wool, even wool, which uh, they're kind of rare, but we have them. Different ways of using it, now that you know that it's very important because it's a form of uh, standing out, it's a form of status, it's a form of letting other businessmen or yourself, letting others know that you care about your image, you care about yourself. It's a symbol of elegance and of sharpness. Now that you know that, and a little bit of history, let's move forward and let me show you some ways that you can fold different fo different handkerchiefs. Because I'm going to show you three different handkerchiefs. One that is pure, just pure white, uh, made out of cotton, and then another one which is has a little bit more color, different ways of using it, and then I will show you a one one made out of silk, and the actual psycho psychological meaning behind them. Once you used one, why, what communication, what non-verbal communication, what subliminal messages you are sending to your audience? So the first one, this one is made out of silk, okay? These ones are used when you want to be more sporty. When maybe you're not wearing a full suit, you, maybe you're wearing some sports jacket, uh, you're more casual, more relaxed, you can be wearing some chinos, you can be wearing some khakis, and then when you use your silk made handkerchiefs, you're literally, it's more accessible, more fun, it's not very business-like, okay? So, this is the one, they are a little bit more shiny, and the patterns and the colors tend to be a little bit more, more creative. There's one that I love, which is called the flower. You need to take your hand and put it like so, okay? Like it's okay. Then, you place the handkerchief right in the, in the center, in the middle of the of the circle that you created with your hand and then you take the ends and then you start inserting them as you can see it and then you just twist it so that that way the flower stays and then you just place it on your pocket right here and it's okay if it looks a little bit crazy it to be a little bit more creative more casual and now another way that you can use it is also you just take it like that pinch it with these two fingers right in the middle and then again make this circle with your hands and right in the middle and you twist it and you create this little like mushroom then you just fold it and there you have it you put it inside of your pocket another way of using it then of course you can do some adjustments over here and that's another way of using it now you can take this very same form okay when you pinch the one in the middle and you do it right in the middle like so again the same technique you fold it but you show a little bit more of the other side instead of showing only this part now you show the other part
it's a little bit more crazy, a little bit more creative, and if it's okay, if some pieces hang out, this is another way that you can use. Now, another one that I like is just the normal. You just fold it, you make a square, and because it's made out of silk, it's not going to stay very, very neat. I don't know if you can see it. It's going to have some, some raw edges like so, and it's perfectly fine. So once you have your square, then you just fold one part, and then you just fold another part, creating like a triangle. This is what you want to do. And then you take it right in the middle, and you put it inside of your pocket. And that's another way that you can use it. Now let's just with the silk one. Now moving on to a cotton one. These are more rigid and I'm going to show you the way that I like to use it because there's literally tons of voices you can use it. But this you can just put it like so. When it's, uh, you know, when you fold it to put it, uh, put it under, on, your, on your wardrobe, you can just, if it's squared, you can just take the square and put it like this and there you go. Don't worry about being perfect, but a great way of using it to really stand out is, again, you unfold it and you pinch it right in the middle. Make sure that you like, give it a shake, like so. Then, after it's done like that, you pinch again and then there you create like a little bouquet over here, right? You, instead of going in the middle, you go a little bit further, right almost into to, to the end, and then you twist and then you take it and then you create like this another another form of bouquet or another form of flower and you just put it inside here it's really going to look crazy and beautiful this is another form that you can use it now moving on to the last one, which is the white one. Every man should own at least three pocket squares or handkerchiefs. One made out of silk, or it doesn't necessarily have to be silk, but one shiny, more crazy. Another one that's made out of wool or cotton, that it has some patterns. And then one that is white. This is a fundamental. This is every a, a must for every single man, okay? So how do, you, how do you fold it like that? You need to create a square, okay? When you have it, this is very long. You have it like that, you fold it once, then you fold it twice, until you create a square. Once you have a square, you're going to take it into three parts. You fold it once, then you fold it twice, and then there you have it. This is the part that you want to show. So you just fold it right underneath. You don't have to fold it like so, okay? You don't have to be like that. You just a little bit underneath so that you can put it inside and show just one part. That's another perfect way of using it. This is the most authoritative form of using a handkerchief. And it's really great for business. Another form that you can use, after you have your square, then take one end and you put it in the middle, then you take another end and you put it in the middle, and you will create a triangle, okay? Once you have your triangle, of course, it takes practice. Don't beat yourself up. You're gonna have to do it again and again and again. And then you just put it inside of there. you have your triangle is great for business as well now another one that I love to use that really guys there's billions of different ways that you can use your your handkerchiefs you have to be creative as well maybe you can invent one and you show me your video then after you take your 
your square. Instead of going to the middle, you take one and you put it right next to the other one, imperfectly on purpose. Then you just fold the other part and then you have two triangles. doing this is just you just put one in the middle and then you take the other part in the middle and instead of putting the third one here right underneath the triangle you put it right next to it creating two triangles now the last one is after you have your square you take the, the, the opposite side of the one that is on the upper on, on the upper side the one that you're holding you take the bottom you place it right next to it like so boom okay you are creating two triangles. Then you take another part and you put it right next to it, creating another triangle. And then you take the last part and you put it right next to it as well, creating many different triangles. Then you just shove it right there and then you have triangles and it's pretty good for business as well. you have it guys how to fold your pocket squares the way that I do it anyway because there's probably tons of videos out there on the internet but this is just to bring you an awareness of using pocket squares using handkerchiefs they really make the difference when it comes to your fashion when it comes to your suits you will communicate more authority or more elegance you will communicate status or status you will communicate that you are someone who knows what they're doing you look sharp and people can rely on you it's good for business and it's good also if you want to attract another human being because you look like you know what you're doing okay so start using your handkerchiefs it's really good when you don't use them it's like you are not taking all the benefits out of your suits your suits look naked they look dull you don't want to look dull you want to look a little bit more stylish so that's it for today keep sending me your questions be the best version of yourself subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one